Thanks. Um, I'm sorry to have come back and ruined your five minutes early, so I will make this quick go. Uh, so I'm with DFJ Gotham. We're an early stage VC here in New York. So we do seed and A round funding, generally in the New York area. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to go to, um, now I'm gonna forget, keelhoboken.org. So the, the devastation in Hoboken is actually really terrible. And as much as I normally make fun of New Jersey, um, we should all go there and, and donate because you know, they had flooding and it's still dangerous there where electricians, the boxes are still wet. And so there's still people that could be electrocuted and stuff. So go to healhoboken.org. That's a good use of your time, much better than listening to my background. Um, so quickly about my background, and then we'll talk about something else. Um, I used to be a hacker, so I used to break into computers for a living, uh, which is a great job if you can get it. Um, you know, you get to use technical skills, and it's a puzzle every day. And so that was great. I did that for about eight years. Uh, and then I decided I wanted to do something different. And I started looking around and, and VC looked like an interesting place to play because you get to kind of look where the puck is going to be as opposed to where a puck is. And you get to work with really, is this working? Okay. You get to work with really talented entrepreneurs, um, which is kind of awesome. So I love that piece of my job and I, I tend to like technical co-founders because of it. Um, I can kind of speak their language a little better than, than the MBA set, though I did get an MBA and therefore I can't code anymore, sadly. Um, so I thought I'd use the, the last like minute of my time to, to give some advice that's more interesting than like my background and my firm. Um, and this is pretty applicable across the board. So you're gonna start to get advice about who to talk to at firms. And there's a meme going around, I, I saw a couple blog posts on it recently about whether you should only talk to partners or not, right? And the idea is partners make the decisions, so don't waste your time with anybody else. And now this plays to my strengths here. As a non-partner, I can tell you it's probably not the best way to go in that associates do two things for you. One of which is if you're rude and mean to them, and no one's ever been rude or mean to me, so this is just kind of a general thing. But if you're rude and mean to them, they can kill a deal, right? They can talk bad about it and partners will start to doubt themselves and, and not do something so they can screw you up. But that's not the reason to be nice to them. The reason to be nice to them is they can push for you and give you a whole bunch of information that the partner might not tell you. Right, so if there's partner politics going on, the partner's not gonna admit like, hey, yeah, my last deal didn't go so great, and Bob over there is second guessing me, so I really need you to up it a notch, whereas the associate might actually give you kind of the straight dirt. So my opinion is, if you know, you're talking to an associate at the firm, make friends with them, because they can give you kind of a back panel of information that's really helpful. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna talk about, thanks.